I am so, so proud this morning to announce that an Ontario Liberal government will reduce transit fares right across Ontario down to $1 per ride within 100 days of taking office. The politicians be politicking, they some continue. would say. They continue. A bucket, it's not a buck of beer this time though. It's, no, what is it, a buck of ride? A buck of ride. A buck of ride. So listen, if you live in Ontario and you're, uh, if you haven't heard yet, you know, transit fares could be reduced to a dollar if the Ontario Liberals are elected in June. Our parents are going to be so happy, you know, back in my day. Because <laughs> that's probably how much they paid for public transit. Yeah, they transit. probably did pay like 75 cents to a dollar to take the bus. My but goodness. not today. Well, we're going to break it all down for you, but before we do that, we need you to do a few things like subscribing to this channel, tapping that notification bell, <laughs> smash that like button, and don't forget to follow us on all of our social media. The details are in the description below. Okay. So Ontario Liberal leader Stephen Del Duca made a lot of headlines. He did. He did. I feel like this is the time in the campaigns and in the politicking where mm -hmm. we're going to start seeing um, wild, just w people just wild. One hundred percent. It's going to ramp up, and we're going to be hearing a lot of promises just like this one. So the Ontario Liberals, they're saying that they want to reduce transit fares across the province to just one dollar. This would apply to all the different transit agencies. So if you live in Brampton, it would apply to Brampton Transit. If you live in Toronto, it would apply to Toronto Transit. If you live in Ottawa, it would apply to Ottawa Transit. And you would have $1 fares up until, in place until January 2024. What's yeah. also very interesting about this is that Go Transit would also be affected by this. Yes, yeah, so and the Northland, uh, the Ontario Northland service too. So for anybody who's up uh, for their north, yeah. Yeah, so but Go Transit cool. fares are quite expensive. I mean, anybody who's taking Go Transit, like let's say from the 905 area into downtown, you're paying anywhere between seven, maybe upwards of $20, depending on how far you're traveling Well, from. when I was in high school, round trip from Whitby to downtown was 20 bucks. Well, yeah. And now we're going back a couple of years. So now you're all, you're only going to pay a buck? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's quite substantial. We should also say this, that Doduka pledged to invest an additional $375 million in annual transit yeah. operating funds to support more bus routes and extend service hours along those bus routes as well. Does so, this mean they're going to finish Eglinton? <laughs> Well, I think I think while people are asking that, they're also asking how much is this going to cost? Yes. Because my gut tells me this is a very expensive promise. So the Liberals are saying it's going to cost about $710 million between 2022 and 2023 and about $1.1 billion for the 2023 to 2024 uh, okay, time Okay, so over a billion dollars. Yes, but they are saying that the province is going to cover the cost of this program so it won't affect the municipalities. So Toronto won't be out of pocket. But there's only for one this. taxpayer. There's only one taxpayer. So even if. even In if the whole province? Not, yeah, I mean, like in terms of like, it doesn't matter where you live. Like, you are the taxpayer. I am the taxpayer. Like, if the money's not going to the city and the province is going to spend it, so it's your still coming from. municipal taxes us. aren't going to go up, just your provincial taxes. Right, that's what I'm saying. So there's only one taxpayer at the end of the day. So all of us are going to face this increase because they're going to have to pay for it somehow. For sure. I guess my thing that I'm wondering though is that when you promise something like this and there's only a timeline up until January 2024 how can you then get rid of it after once people get accustomed to something it's gonna yeah. be very hard to take that back from them like how are you gonna go back to paying three dollars and twenty five cents after you got accustomed to paying a dollar to take the subway well and what's interesting to me about this is weren't we just talking about how the TTC is having a hard time turning revenue now yeah that's true because a lot of people don't even want to take transit because a still the COVID fears, mm -hmm. B, the security fears. There's been a yeah, lot of craziness happening on the subway on system. Anyhow, let's talk about what the other province, uh, provinces, what the other parties, excuse me, have been saying. <laughs> so the NDP snapped back. They released a statement. Not the snap back. They, not the hat, but the, <laughs> yeah, they, re, they, they snapped back, they clapped back, they slapped back, either way. What did the NDP say? So they basically pointed out that Stephen Del Duca um, used to be the province's transportation minister under Kathleen Wynne. Ooh, not the receipts. So under the Liberals and with Stephen Del Duca as the minister responsible, transit got worse and worse. When Stephen Del Duca actually had the power to make transit affordable, his priority was millions on a go station and his riding for him and his developer buddies. Mm. On transit, you can't trust the Liberals to fix what they helped break. So that's the mm -hmm. statement from the NDP today. So the NDP came up with shots fired. Told you, they snapped back. Oh, but you know who also snapped back? The Green Party. <laughs> because if you guys don't remember, remember, but the Green Party was actually one of the first in the province to say that they wanted to reduce transit fares for a few months. And that's exactly what they said in a statement. They said, as the first party who announced a plan to significantly reduce transit fares, I'm happy to see other parties follow our lead. 
Interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, did we hear from the Progressive Conservatives? Now, we haven't heard from them at the time of production, but in March, they'd promised a new plan to connect to the Greater Toronto Area and the Greater Golden Horseshoe. Uh, it was about $82 billion, this new plan. So yeah, this transportation for, plan. It is a big one that Doug Ford's government has been talking about and sure. implementing. So it's $82 billion for public transit and highways, and that includes a 15.6 kilometer Ontario line that'll connect uh, from Ontario Place all the way to the Science Centre. And they have started construction on mm -hmm. that, so he did that just in time before the election started. Hmm. <laughs> just putting that out there. And hmm. The shovels were in the ground just before uh, the election started. But there's also, of course, the Eglantine Crosstown West extension. So no, unfortunately, Eglantine will still be under construction. It's a hard off. time to live off of Eglantine, I gotta say. Uh, the Young North subway extension and the three-stop Scarborough subway extension. Now we're, we're highlighting this because, you know, we, we didn't want to leave the progressive conservatives out of the conversation. Um, but in their plan, there is no plan to reduce uh, fares. No. So we just want to highlight, but they have invested in the construction of additional transit projects. I also want to highlight that many of the other parties said if they do get elected, they would continue with many of these transit projects. So it's not just the Conservatives who are promising this or who would continue this. All of the other parties are saying they would do that as well. So what, are you in favor of this a dollar, uh, you know, a buck a, a buck a ride program? I'm going to keep that to myself. Okay. This time I, I have no public opinion. Well, I have an opinion. Um, I like the plan. Okay. I like that they're making transit more affordable because you know what, for a lot of people um, who don't have the privilege of having a lot of money uh, and you can't afford a car, they do take public transit. Mm -hmm. And when you think about how many times you need to take transit, whether it's to go to school or you need to go to the work or you got to go to the hairdresser or you have to go pick up the kids from childcare, whatever, it all adds up. So 100%. this will help a lot of people right in their pocketbooks. I think it's a really interesting idea. I just don't like the fact that then they're going to take it away after two years because people are going to accustom to that. They're going to adjust their budgets to that. So anyhow. What I will say is I do think that this is, if it were to happen, it's happening at a very good time with gas prices going up, experts predicting that they're that supposed too. to stay at $2 yeah, right across the board. People can't even afford to drive anywhere. But I do have an issue, like mm -hmm. you said, with the fact that you're going to give people something and then take it away after leaving somebody reliable on something that they need. Mm -hmm. And that's all I have to say on that. Okay, well let us know what you guys have to say on this subject. Let us know in the comments. Are you in favor of this? Do you like it? Do you like, are you wondering how they're going to really pay for all of this? We want to know it all. Drop your thoughts in the comment section and we'll keep you posted on how this election uh, unfolds over the course of the next month. Yes, but... One month, one month till voting day. One month to Yes, May 2nd, so voting day is June 2nd. But long before voting day, you're going to make sure that you're subscribed to this channel, oh, yeah. tapping that notification bell, smashing the like button, and following us across all of our social media so you get the election updates. The details are in the description below. Thanks for watching. Hey, BG Squad, thanks so much for checking out our channel. And listen to this, we have more great content for you, like this video right here and this video right here. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to this channel right now and tap that notification bell.